Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a gift card on your website, how to set up the different pricing and get it launched so that people can purchase it right away. Cool, so we are here on my demo website and I'm gonna go to pages and then go to my demo shop. So I'm gonna click here on shop and then from there, the first thing I'm gonna do is click the plus sign. Once you click on that, it gives you a few options, which is really nice. Right here, you'll see gift card, and then we'll just click on that. And then once we're in here, it works basically the same as any product. You'll be able to add title, description, additional details, um, but then you can detail if there's special images you want for each gift card, um, and I'll show you the limitations as well, but let's walk through this now. So here you can say, just type in gift card, Boom, you could talk about it here, any of the details of how it works. And then from there, if you wanna add additional info, custom blocks, you can do that as well. Down here, you could add images. So I'm just gonna hit select from library and I'm gonna add in our launch happy logo just for the time being. But you could create a custom icon or custom graphic for it and go from there. In this case, it shows inventory and it shows these multiple prices with multiple images. Again, you could have multiple images, but here, um, I'm just gonna keep it like this. There is this thing with gift cards that if you want to have gift cards, um, let's say you wanna have different images for gift cards. The way you do that is you'd actually create multiple gift cards. So this is one, let's say, and then you create a separate one. Um, the reason you would do that is because you can't have, let me show you, if I put $25 here, these are both 25, and let's say these have different images. And I'm like, oh, I just want these to have different images. If I hit save and publish, it's gonna say, mm, sorry, gift card amounts must be unique. So you technically have to do uh, separate gift cards, like separate what I'm doing right now. You gotta do two of those, three of those, as many as you want for different gift cards. So if you're doing holiday gift cards or you're doing um, any type of special gift card, uh, this is how you do it. You have to have actual multiple products to do it. From there, you could set up the category to the category or tags. In this case, I could put it under like gift cards. I could have a separate category for that. So I just come in here and type in gift cards and then hit add. Uh, let's see, it's added here or no. Oh, that's just a arrow. Okay, perfect. So that is that. And I'll drag this, oh, not into bestsellers. I wanna drag it to the very bottom. Sometimes when you drag this, you just gotta drag it to the center and then let it go to the side. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't like it right now. This is a great example of you just do it a few times and it works. Now it worked there, don't know why, but there we go, done. Set as gift cards, we could see that there. Visibility, it's gonna go live, related products, not necessary, product review, eh, that's okay. I'll go in here and edit the URL because that is a hot mess and then do that, you could do SEO as well, custom button. This could say purchase now because you're kind of adding it to the cart, but there's no cart in this example. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna hit save. This product URL is already taken. Okay, gift card two, because I have others. Don't label it two, but it's a demo website and I have others. So there is that. All right, so I'm here on the products and now boom, this is the new gift card I just created. So I'll click on this. You'll see how it lays out here. You can see the title. This is from where it starts pricing, the details of the actual like description. The values are here, which is cool. So I could say 50 and then say purchase now. Once that happens, um, I have other items in my cart. I did not show you. Let me go back and show you. So when you buy a gift card, it just operates a little bit differently. This kind of does not matter, but for your user, it's good to understand. If they have other items in the cart, these are like separate carts. So you like that? Ha. So this here says five items. You can see, I don't know what I got in here. I got like a book or two books, three books, two books and three pairs of shoes that are titled books. So you'll see all of this content is here, but when I actually went to the cart, when I hit check checkout or when I hit purchase now, so let me do it again, 50 bucks, purchase now, it takes me immediately into checkout. So yes, it takes you right into checkout. So gift cards work a little bit differently. So I am just gonna add a sample email here and then hit continue. And then you'll see gift card delivery. Now this is valuable. Email to recipient, email to you. This is so cool. 
So it'll let you fill out all this information. So who's this going to? I'm going to send it to David. He's the best. Send it directly to his email. That's a long email. There we go. Go away. Cool message. You the best. Boom. From David. Great. Continue. And then you do check out here. Um, oh, this is perfect because it's a demo website. So can I just skip this? No, it needs it. Okay, perfect. I'm just grabbing a random address. There we go. Continue, review and purchase. Boom. This isn't set up, so that's it. But that's basically the info they'd fill out and you could see you could guide it to a specific person if you want to, which is great. And I actually think you should probably detail that in the gift card page, like the details of the page and say, you could either have this gift card delivered to you or a recipient. So that way they can get it directly. The fact that I kind of didn't say that is a little bit weird. Um, so I had to like figure that out later. So definitely worth going through the process and, and explaining that on your gift card page. Again, if you want different images for different gift cards, you would have to literally set up different gift cards um, and go from there. Let me show you this. So I'm just on the back end under orders and it says gift cards. Now I don't have any, but you could see what it would show you. Gift code, last activity, recipient email, usage. So spent $30 out of 50, initial value 50, remaining value 20. So it gives you good information overall on what's happening and probably good control too uh, on what's happening as well. If you need to customize the emails, just go to commerce and then there's something notification, customer notification, and then you'll see gift cards here. And so you can come in here and customize this a bit. It doesn't give you a ton of information or a ton of options, but you can come in here, edit this email. As you can see, it'll show your site title. Uh, let's let this load. Perfect. It'll link uh, to your site here. Awesome. A gift for site title for your business name to who all of this stuff is there. Um, optional customized message appears here. So if there's a message that was sent, remember there's a little spot for that, that would go there. And then all this stuff's here. Now let's see what the plus sign does. You could add your own text. You could add an image. You could add a line. You could add a spacer. Um, this is really cool. There's a lot of stuff you could add in here. You could do a test. I would do a few tests and see if you want to add an image and you want to add a cool holiday graphic, you can do that. Just be mindful of it that you're going to have to remember to remove it later. It's not going to remind you. So if you have a Christmas graphic there and it's April, that'll be a little weird. But overall, you have some control to add in text or images here and adjust the overall styling of this email going from there. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.